What's up, guys? It's Darnell. It's Colin. It's Lily here. I'm going to tell you guys a story that you're probably not going to believe because it is absolutely insane. My hands were shaking. My heart was really racing. My body really, like, shut down. Didn't think anyone wanted anything to do with me. No one was here to help me. I didn't know what was going on. The next thing I know, I blacked out. I never felt that helpless before. And that was the night before I went to the hospital. My name is Colin. I'm 19. I started vaping at 17. My name is Darno, and I started vaping this year. My name is Lily. I started vaping when I was 14, and now I'm 16. I went to a middle school for the performing arts, and my dream was to go to the high school of the performing arts. Everybody from my middle school basically auditioned for the high school. Vaping definitely messed up my dream. My voice was cracky, and I didn't have the same range that I used to. After the dance portion of my audition, I couldn't catch my breath. I didn't do well. I bombed the audition. I don't go to the school. I didn't get in. I go to college, and uh, I was playing on the lacrosse team there. Through vaping, a lot of these built-up anxieties and depression ended up sprouting out. I felt like I was in this uh, just hole. I don't think there was any way I could vape and not get addicted. Vaping is an addiction, and it definitely like, changed everything. I was getting really hot. I was like, okay, maybe it's just hot, whatever. But then I started getting like really sweaty and I got dizzy. I felt like a panic attack and I thought it was a panic attack. Yeah, I was really scared. My friends were scared. I was like, what's going on? I couldn't really explain to them what was going on because I didn't really know. So I feel like vaping took something from me. I feel like it took control. My second semester, I ended up falling into a really deep state of depression. I was ineligible to play for the season, failing classes. I didn't realize that it was gonna be this bad. Everything that I had trained towards was deteriorating and to put so much time and effort into something and then just to take it away from yourself is just like an awful feeling. Like you're ruining something for yourself. Everybody in my life was disappointed that I was doing this and since it was an addiction, I didn't wanna stop. When I first spoke to the doctor, I told him that I vape, and he was like, that's definitely the trigger to your heart condition I already had. And they gave me two options, either get surgery, or I could be on medication for the rest of my life. It happened to me, so it could happen to any of us. I reached out to my parents and friends around me. Even though I lied to their faces and even though I hid from them, they were still there to help me out of this hole and get me back on my feet and get me out of this addiction. Every aspect of your life is gonna get better if you quit vaping, and I say that from experience. Your health and your life is way more important than vaping. It's not worth it. It's not. <laughs>